and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Tuesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. How's this? What are they? The sandwich platters. Seafood cocktail and cheese and celery. Not as triangles, then? Did you say as triangles? Well, I didn't think I needed to. Squares are perfectly symmetrical. Well, they are. And they taste the same. They're just a bit building blocky. Building blocky? Oh, never mind. Fallon's not going to worry about that, is she? They are for her, after all. Have we got a start time? Not a precise one. Just after the fireworks. As long as it takes to wander down from Jubilee Field, then. Tortoise? What kind of a name is that for a cat? It's the name that came out of the pub hat. Yes, but a tortoise is the opposite of a cat. Believe me, Mum, it could have been a lot worse. Oh. I hope the poor thing's safely indoors tonight. Oh, she should be OK. Well, that's the point of being on Jubilee Field, away from most animals. Isn't it always here? No, it was in the village last year. We were supposed to have silent fireworks, but they weren't. There were loads of complaints. Yes, I remember you saying. Well, half the village must be here tonight. Including your mystery rescuer? <laughs> well, I haven't seen him now. I still can't think who you might be. Hmm. He didn't tell me his name. He was very smooth, though, very charming. <laughs> Perhaps a bit on the quiet side. You mean he couldn't get a word in? Kirsty. What was he driving? Uh, oh, well, it was black, I think. Or possibly grey. Oh, um, that's hopeless. Well, I was distracted. Lost me purse and the bow. I know, I know. Told him about you and the rewilding. He was interested. Of course he was. No, honestly, he pricked up his ears. Well, he won't be interested for much longer. His days are numbered. Well, don't lose heart, love. You don't know that. Oh, Mum, I think I do. Well, that's why I'm here. I know. To make you feel better. I know, Mum. Only I, I blunder about losing purses and getting picked up by strange men. Strange and mysterious. <laughs> Something else will come along, sweetheart. This means everything to me, though. Helping people understand why it matters so much. Watching kids when they suddenly get it. And it's all in the balance. We could lose it all. I know. Hmm. Well, let's walk back, shall we? Maybe we should, yeah. And well, we're calling in the tea room, aren't we? Oh, that. For Fallon's farewell. Actually, I thought I might give that a miss. Oh, Kirsty, why? I'd just put a damper on things. No, I'm not having that. Think of Fallon. I am thinking of Fallon. Well, she'll want you there, I know she will. But more of a damper on things if you don't go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now you know why we had to come back by way of the tea room. Well, honestly, I didn't know about any of this, did I, Harrison? I, I really didn't. Oh, dear, I'm going to get in trouble when I get home. <laughs> He so is. Yeah, I can see it <laughs> No, really, I, I, I mean, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Well, I do. <laughs> so do I. Come on, Helen, let's tell it how it is. No, 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 no Fallon, don't run away. Oh. <clears throat> right, here goes. We all know Fallon here. Everyone knows Fallon. <laughs> and we all know the mountain of difference she's made to the tea room. Yeah. <clears throat> how does she do it? Well, she's always cheerful. 
Always willing. Almost always. <laughs> She's also highly organised and businesslike. Bossy, you mean. I look at you. She's inventive and artistic. <laughs> We've all been wowed by her amazing cakes. Oh. I mean, they are things of true artistic ability. Mm. And they don't taste too bad either. <laughs> <laughs> but more than all of this, Ferland's been a good friend to the tea room. Whether you're working with her, battling to complete a long shift to the best of, your, of anybody's ability <laughs> and endurance. Or whether you're that grumpy customer in the corner sitting half a day over one cup of coffee and a scotch. Yes. That were me. <laughs> she has a smile for everyone. And it's real. It's genuine. And we're all going to miss her. Mm -hmm. So this is to wish her the very best of luck with her bright new venture at the charging mm -hmm. station. Farewell and may all good things go with you. To Fallon. Fallon. To Fallon. Oh, to Fallon. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Natasha. I, 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 I still don't know what to say. Well, we meant every word of it. It was very generous of you. I will admit, the way you left, I found that disappointing. I know. I felt let down. But that's been and gone now. And I'm determined to remember the many positive things. So I really do wish you well with the charging station, Fallon. I hope it's a great success and that it brings you true happiness and fulfilment. See? You're glad you came. I am. You're right. Balan's face lit up when she saw you were here. I don't know about that. Kirsty, have a sandwich. Oh, thanks, Tom. Can especially recommend the square ones. Oh, they look very businesslike. Not made by you by any chance. Uh, is that obvious? Yeah. Uh, you remember my mum. Uh, how are you, Megan? Fine. Oh. Hi there, Kirsty. Oh, so glad you could make it. Uh, mum, this is Natasha, Tom's wife. Tom has a wife. Hi, uh, Kirsty's mum? Yes, well, maybe we should keep circulating. Yeah, I think maybe we should. Yeah, make sure everyone's happy. Oh, mum. I hope you're taking all this in. Oh, I am, I am. You see how much people care and how much they value what you've done here. Did you know Natasha and Anna were going to say all that? Well, I'm glad they did. Over the top or what? No, no, it's not. You've made a great success of this place, and now you're going to do the same for the charging station. Oh, I don't know. The only difference is you'll be the boss. I still feel a bit... You and only you. A bit nervy about it. Oh, don't be. You'll cruise it. Kirsty sent me over to say hello. Oh, oh. hi there. I I'm Harrison. Oh, oh. Lovely to see you again. This is Megan, Kirsty's mum. Oh. Oh. For my sins. Oh, well, not too many, I hope. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've been getting filthy looks from Kirsty, so I've probably done something wrong. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about her rewilding problems. All oh, those, yes. That's Justin Elliot for you. Oh, I'm afraid they've really got Kirsty down. He's not bothered who he tramples on to get what he wants. No, I can tell you. Give me half an hour on my own with him and he won't know what's hit him. Well, she seems to be getting on with Harrison and Fallon, all right? Just us, then. Not a woman to bear a grudge, obviously. Deprived of having you as a son-in-law, it's made her bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, it's all gone well, wouldn't you see? You think so? What's wrong with it? Well... It's the kind of thing Ambridge does well. People turn out. It's not that. Like they turn out for the flour and produce or agriculture. But they turn out, yes, but that's well, not Let's talk what... about another one this Christmas. Another one. Another agriculture. We'll have to start thinking. No, Natasha, I'm talking about Fallon. You are a bit too generous, I thought. Too generous? Well, she hasn't made things easy for us, has she? She turned down a very good pay rise. Tom, we were only wishing her well. In a business that will rival the tea room. Oh, no, no, it's different. Not selling teas and coffee. It's meat and dairy free. There'll still be some drift away from us. And what you said about her having a good business sense... She has. She ran this place well. Exactly. And now she's walked out on us, she's not going to be easy to replace, Natasha. Oh, no, you're right. But not impossible. You've got someone in mind then, have you? I have, as it goes. Who? Chelsea? Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're thinking of Chelsea. Of course not. You're staring the answer in the face, Tom. What, you mean? Me, obviously. Oh, Ellen, can I have a quick Harrison, word? Harrison, the cake's about to come through. Fallon's cake. Oh, I I'm sorry. It you know, the bonfire cake I was telling you about the other day? Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry, what did you want? Well, I've just had a call. Uh, oh? I, I have to go. 
go? You, you mean? Yeah, it's, it's all kicking off at oh. work, and I'm needed. I've, I've got to edit off. Oh, you've really got to go. Yeah, I do. We've had this incident, and there's been developments, and they, they need all hands to the pump. But I'm sorry. I, is it more difficult? It is what more difficult? Being full time. Is it very different? It's it's different. Yeah, yeah. full is 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 very full sometimes. I, I'm not complaining though. No, I know. It's uh, what I signed up for. Uh, Look, uh, I, I ought to be going. Harrison, can't you wait five minutes? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, don't worry. And, and what I said about being full-time... Minute, you hardly said anything at all. <laughs> no, I know, but maybe best not to mention it anyway. No, of course not. Thank you, Helen. Harrison. No, look, it, it's fine. It, it's just work. You get through it. Yeah. See ya. Cake time, everyone. Ooh. Fallon's farewell bonfire cake about to be cut. Yeah. Gather, people. I'll tell you why it was embarrassing, Mum. Tom and I made our peace ages ago. That doesn't mean I have to. And I have no problem with Natasha. We get on fine. I'll never forget what he did to you. Well, I don't suppose I will, but... Dumping you like that. But I've decided... On the actual day... I've decided Ooh. not to carry the burden around with me. I've set it aside. I just resent the way he's moved on. Made a nice little life for himself. And you, well... I haven't. Well, you haven't, sweetheart, have you? I think I have. Life's changing around you, Kirsty. Your work's changing, your home's about to change. Maybe you should embrace that. What does that mean? Embrace the change. Find a more reliable kind of work and... and... What? Well, do you have to be on your own all the time? On my own? You know what I mean. I'm fine, Mum. Absolutely fine. And maybe the work isn't reliable, but it's what I really want to do. Ooh. Oh, you really didn't have to bring me home. Oh, of course oh, we did. Up. We're not going to leave you on your own, are we? Well, I could have got a cab. Uh, rubbish. And it really is no trouble. Mm. I've had such a lovely evening. No more than you deserved. <laughs> A pity about Harrison, though. Oh, he'll be all right. Well, he's got some cake for when he gets back. <laughs> Ooh, good. And a really good cake, too. <laughs> Bonfire cake. <laughs> With Catherine wheels and starbursts. Oh. It's fantastic. I can see I've got a proper rival now. No, no. <laughs> Natasha, it's seriously good. Well, I was quite pleased with the starbursts. <laughs> anyway, thank you for everything. Good night, Fallon. Good night, love. Yeah, bye, you two. Take care. Don't you think it's a bit too much? What? You know what? Well, obviously I don't think so, or I wouldn't have said I'd do it. Managing the tea room, though, that's pretty full on. <laughs> I do know that, Tom. But Fallon leaving like this, we can see it as an opportunity. For what? Taking on more work? For trying something different. You think I haven't considered the workload? Well, have you? Of course. And there is an answer. Is there? Sell Summer Orchard. What? Sell up. No, hang on a moment. Oh, we really should be getting home, Tom. So what do you do? I uh, do the spot effects on the arches. Uh, just uh, yeah, any. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of. Yep. First. Okay. And and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep. That's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep. That's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever